is not exactly the same thing as when people talk of prosperity. So, when Joseph was in Egypt, the record said he prospered. He slave. Who has no property. Even he was another person's property. But the Bible says he prospered. But his on behalf of the ministry, I really, really am happy to see that this event is all good. Oh, we welcome you all to this all-important um, event. As we all know that um, upon um, our assumption in office, our able governor has declared the state of emergency on health care. The doctors have been on strike for over six months and the general hospitals have not worked for that long. So you could imagine the situation we met on ground. And since my assumption in office, even as an essay, I've visited over seven general hospitals. I started out with Abiyan North. And I've been to Abia South, and, um, and this is part of our effort in assessing the situation we met on ground. And um, in, in that assessment, we then agreed, the governor gave his directive for us to identified three the flag off of the free medical general services. hospital and care level hospital in the three zones the idea is not to zone. revitalize make it functional within the first community and you would agree with me that you know it's it's about because of his support and the push we have already started and we are working on it. And we are hopeful that by the, the next 30 days, we should have at least three general hospitals fully equipped and functional. Fully equipped and functional. But as you all know, health can't wait. If you're sick, you cannot, if your woman wants to put to bed, you cannot tell her to hold on until you have repaired the general hospital before she can go to the hospital. And this is why we decided that instead of waiting to repair all the general hospitals, that there is a need for us to return the doctors back to work. But while we are that, we need for us to look at the Abians that desperately need health care. And would agree with me that having closed the general hospitals for six months, the question is where have they been going to? So some of them have been at home, some of them have gone to various places to seek for help. So for this flag up, he started out and is in line with the promises that he gave during his campaign. And this is him fulfilling those promises that he will not wait. He will start immediately he gets into office to address the issues. And for us, this is part of the low-hanging issues that we met on ground. And we need them to address them immediately. <laughs> so for this reason, he has um, asked us to flag up this, which graciously he has come by himself to do for Abia. We have started off with the Abba one. Abba has been ongoing for the past two weeks. The last weekend, we had a lot of patients. You know, they were overwhelming. There were lots of people. A lot, a lot of them. And then he decided that today we'll flag off Omaria and uh, Abia not as, as well. I want to use this opportunity to thank our government for being a good man and being a man who will say what he will do. And I want you all to join me in doing this by standing up 
I'm giving you him. And we're going to clap our health clap, the two claps. First of all, do you want to demonstrate that? Atama. Okay, let's put our hands together to our amiable governor for all that you have done for us and you're still doing. We're giving you this special clap. Atama! 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 Labaco! 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 Aparina! Aparina! Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Um, as we all know, the services are free. Nobody is paying a dime to receive services here today. And this will continue to the end of this month. For the ones that will require surgery, those surgeries will be performed free. Nobody is paying anything. And the governor has graciously paid for all of this. All the services have been paid for. All the services, all the services will have been paid for. All the services, the glasses, we have over 100 pieces of glasses that we are giving out free. Nobody is paying anything to receive them. And we may still need to get some more. So, and then also, Amacha has been selected as one of the hospitals to quickly revive. So in the next couple of days, you will come to this place and see a new different hospital. Well equipped, ready, the level room, the theatre, everything will be freshly done by God's grace and ready for everyone to use. Thank you very much once again and we appreciate you sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, the Honorable Commissioner for Health, Dr. Ugozi Okorokwa. Um, I'm standing here on behalf of Dr. Alex Oti, the Executive Governor of Abia State. And I want to deeply thank God for making today a reality. You can be having your plans, you can be making all kinds of arrangements, but except God grants this level of serenity, security, and of course, beautiful weather, um, not much would have been achieved. Yes, and indeed, everybody who has come to participate in today's flag off of these free medical services, all the medical officers that have been on duty, ladies and gentlemen, when Dr. Alex Oti, the governor of Abia State, was sworn in as the governor, one of the first things he did, as we have heard severally, was that he declared a state of emergency in some critical sectors, including the health sector. The health sector was nothing to write home about. And you know that health is wealth. When you are sick and you don't have anywhere to go, the person is simply waiting for a time to die. But God graciously gave us a man after his own heart because he saw the plight of Abians and he came of the administration not just in the health sector but in the education sector in the agriculture in sports because God is said to do great things and new things in Abia 
Abia is in good hands. And these are signs of the great things to come. Today we are here to flag off the free medical services. And this will continue all through this month. And I want to urge you on behalf of His Excellency to please take adequate care to maximize this great opportunity. Most times people don't appreciate whatever thing is given freely. Except they pay for them. But you need to understand that what you are now receiving freely has already been paid for. So please appreciate it. And today that we have these distinguished sons and daughters, especially the Aziz, gathering here, underscores the importance of what His Excellency is doing. So having said that and having appreciated all that have played critical roles in making this program come to pass, may we all rise as we now flag off officially the free medical services Carista. and we want to believe that with this flag off it's not going to be like the experiences we have had in time past so on behalf of His Excellency Dr. Alex Oetu who has graciously approved this critical services all over the state including this place where we are at this general hospital amateur and to the glory of God this criminal sciences including every aspect of medical sciences and eye care sciences is part of the name of the Father the name of the Son